Welcome to the life of A-Town, where you'll get a daily scoop on his life trials and tribulations. Everyone wants to know where's A-Town, but the truth is he's never left. Give you a little more quick way on my story. Like, like you know, this is my childhood uh, background. I am 30 now. And when I came back here, I want to give you more of my history uh, about the kitten. When I was seven years old, I was used to be, uh, I used to be on this block right here. You know, when they said I need a kidney when I was seven years old. Now, I got the kidney when I was nine, and I still was here. And when I got the kidney, oh yeah, a lot of ambulance come through to take me the, cause I've been sick. You know, that's when I first found out I had diabetes at the age of 10, cause my side was swollen. Um, I definitely remember, uh, I definitely remember that uh, as I got older, you know, I started getting chunkier because of, of the kidney and the medicines I was taking. You know, my mom used to park here or over there across the street and I used to live right up there, right here. See? That's why I used to play me and my brother, kickball, baseball. Uh, my, one of my old friends used to live up there, come out and play baseball, everything. I used to live right in that apartment right there, C3. Used to live right there, the tree right there. Used to live right there. I used to just look out the window, you know, just look out the window. And I remember when my kidney came, you know what I'm saying? When my kidney came, it was really, it was really um, tough because that the doctor was calling and, you know, my mom had to come get me from that school I told you about and go straight to the hospital and everything. Um, also, that uh, as I got older, I started getting a little better, but once you get an organ, I know I hate to say it, but you become having more other problems with your health. Like I said, I found out I had diabetes. I'm like, what is diabetes? You know, make sure the kidney wasn't rejecting itself, it wasn't. It's from the medicines. You know, so it's like a 50-50. You might feel great, but other stuff other than your body. You know, so when I found out, I was scared to eat everything because of the diabetes, so it's this. But now that I'm better with it, I feel great. Now, as I got older, like teenage years, like turning like 15, that's when I start moving out this neighborhood and move to another better position than I am and stuff started coming better. So this childhood memory was fun, great, you know, of course got its ups and downs. It was quiet, you know, I had a couple black block parties, had fun females, you know, chilling on the stuff, blowing bubbles, eating uh, popsicles. The ice cream truck used to come down there, come down, all the way down there and stop right there and say, hey, you say it was your birthday, he'd give you free water ice or anything like that. And it used to be lit, you know what I'm saying? Around there, I used to grab my bike and go that way or ride the whole entire block or go to the driveway, you know? And I used to see my old people from school and into that thing. Come on, let me show you. You know, um, well, like, you know, do not sit on that because you got blood suckers on there. The green and red, are they smoking here? Oh wow. I don't see them no more. Like, like here, like this used to be empty. Like when I say ride my bike like this, the old people I used to see over there, you know, people doing stuff they shouldn't be doing, of course, but this was a chill spot, you know what I'm saying? And my kitchen was right here. This was my kitchen. Right here. First window right there. That was my kitchen. That was my kitchen. You know, it was not that. It was that was my kitchen. And when I used to walk this way, I used to walk to go to school, or this way when I got older, catch the bus over there. So it's like you know, this way to go to school. I mean, this way, yeah, I still go to school too, cause catch the bus in junior high school years. This way is elementary. So you know, so. Cause couldn't need she That's what they go say. Hey, tell up in the spot.
uh, this is school I, elementary I grew up you know it's a lot some things they didn't you know it looks you know a little older because you know when I was a kid I used to walk over here or my mom used to drop me up here walk down well you know that you know you know we're gonna learn more about when we get out and do that you know what I'm saying it's lit and powerful yes before they didn't have that red stuff well that's like that big giant color I ain't gonna get a big giant color but yeah, this was the walk at before they didn't have that gate. You know, I remember right here used to play kickball. Kickball, you know. <laughs> Went around like this. All this stuff, all this stuff, everything. Have fun. You know, like my like before they didn't have the rec center at the time. I'll keep it a hundred. And remember Jim was in that thing right there, used to run that to here, see who was the fastest. It was no joke. Um, like this stuff, like they didn't have all this stuff right here. You see right there over there, the take you over here. When it used to be like, okay, everybody line up for your, um, for, 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 for your um, school, for your school, for the line up, for the get in your class. Let me tell you more. Um, see, they didn't have all this. They built a lot of stuff. They didn't have all this. You know, they didn't have that. You know, we need to cut that tree. See, basketball, that was our game, basketball. Um, there you go inside. I wish we could go inside and show the people. My, one of my classrooms was over there. You know, one of my classrooms over there, or at the top, or on the other side. Um, you see these numbers? That's what the, you know your room number was. Like, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The Republic. You used to say all that every time we went to school. How we, you know, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. We, we would say all that every time before that we would get inside that building. You know, right? They didn't have all this stuff, you know? Like, you know, when it's like recess, people like go to the swings or chill over there. Like the older people, like me used to chill over here on the steps, you know, and, you know, just have fun. Got like a couple people watching us, everything. It used to be fights here, over there, here everything and you know it's no joke you know so i love my elementary school it was rough you know yeah of course i got bullied you know but uh this life was no joke you know so we're gonna take you more that's the gym in there but that's the lunch in there the lunch in there and this they still got this old thing for the park you know, for like people be on here sliding down the pole. Females used to slide down the pole, making you laugh at the time. It'd be funny. It's hot. You know, the swings used to be over there. The basketball. Everybody, you know, everything. You know, a lot of good things. On top of the world, everybody. <laughs> yep, so we slide out and slide. Oh, yeah, I remember that game. That game was, oh no. Hurt your goddamn back. <laughs> that shit hurt your goddamn back. Basketball was my favorite sport. I used to dribble down, up and down the court. <laughs> Did you pick up one of the ball? Did I pick one of the ball up? All the time. Ooh. Yes. 
fun. Everything. Ooh. See? It's a lot. That's where we used to play football. At, like, give yourself a bottle. Get yourself a bottle. Put, like, a little sand in it. And, like, you know, get your team. I pick you, I pick you. So I used to play tackle. Oh, I got my ass bust. I got my behind bus. Sometimes I won, sometimes I was a blocker. Cause I know I was a little chubby. But yeah, this is what stuff is at. You see? Whew. Okay, y'all. So I give you a little history about me and having fun with elementary days. You know. Now, it's time to kick it up. Means that we're gonna go to the a lot of things like a middle devil means teenagers. You know how I'm still fighting. You know, so please, please listen. This is where you can listen, right? Kids, you know, please do not be on dialysis. I wish you would I really wish you well and I really wish that you know y'all live a healthy life. And everything, a healthy life. Kids, you don't want to be on this, even adults. You know, this is serious. I want you to understand that when you be on this, it takes a lot of you. Yes, it do. I'm a little tired, but I'm pushing through. Listen, it's like a fight. It's like you in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like it's basically like you bumming to somebody. And I hope you knock that person out. Like I'm trying to knock dollars out. You know what I'm saying? Like one, two, three. It ain't no joke. I'm telling you. You know, trust me, kids, I love y'all. Take care of your health. Please, take care of your health. I love you, trust me. Please, I do. You know? And also, that for as adults, please take care, you know, your kids, for us, like, make sure their health is right. Do not ignore them. Take care of them, you know? And take care of your health, too. And you'll help and support them as a kid as well, okay? It's very important. Hello, everybody. Everybody want to know that with dialysis, I go to everything. This is where I go to. Catch me here. You know, catch me at dialysis because this is real serious. Because I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. And it's very important to share and comment and like. And um, we post for donor for a kidney because this is very important. You know, this is like, you know, life right here. And it's very dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Because this stuff is very understanding about life and what I go through. Because a lot of people are like, where A-Town? Where A-Town at? Where A-Town? This is where I be at. I be at Dallas's. And it's no joke. Can't wait till I get off this. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, it's a work. You know, they didn't pull too much. You know, everything. Doctor says everything's labs looking good. You know, keep up the good work. Of course, they put me on a little bit more medicines because they want to make sure everything's good. You know, um, to stay in the head. It's really tough out here. It ain't it ain't easy. You know, so I'm cramping up, a little tired. Like it drains you. Like it's like. Ugh. But I'm pushing, and I thank God for you know each treatment was successful. Reason why I said people are like why you be like so happy that you have a good treatment because because you know you could like the blood pressure could drop. My blood pressure was a little low, but it's up. It's good, you know. It's stable. It's good, you know. The weight, everything. There's you no know, doctors. They loved it. They loved that how I'm doing, getting better every moment. And to stay in the hood.
me. So this is the guy I'm raising for the awareness for. We just want like, like I've been doing it digitally, but you know, I've made flyers so I can send the footwork. My name is A-Town, you know, he goes to Dial, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, he's 30 years old, he just made it to 30, so he's fighting for his life, so I'm creating a documentary for him as well, so. Okay. Thank you so Yes, I start, can. Start spreading the word because I need a kidney. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, a donor. Nice. You know, I, I've been to Dallas this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6.30 to 9.30 mm. a.m. And it's really tough. You know, I did Dallas this today. You know, thank God. I'm a little crampy, but it's... I say you, you got know. some energy in you be coming from it. Thank Damn. you. I you know got saying? you. I please got you. Please spread the word, please. Please, please word. treats. Please, Martin. Yeah. God thank you. bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 6.30 to 9.30 a.m. And I'm looking for a kidney. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, because I am on the list, but you know, spreading awareness, mm -hmm. awareness, me and my friend uh, Rose. So, you oh. like to spread the word, please? Yes, thank you. Uh, contact me and get uh, every information mm -hmm. registered if you want. I'm a donor, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. Pen medicine, I know. Mm -hmm. I know yes, Pen medicine is a great hospital. It's a great institution. Right, so yeah. basically, like, you know, I need a kidney. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the flag you got, like, amazing awareness for people uh, who kidding like me, and I need a kidney. I'm going to put the dollars in the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., you know, because I know that you need a kidney, you know, I am on the list, but, you know, thank God that, you know, I can help uh, spread awareness to people that actually need kidneys like me. So, thank you for your support. No, no, always. always. Thank you. Anytime. Hey, yo, what's uh, up, man? Uh, can you spread the word that kidney, you know, I need a kidney. Yeah, I saw you know, that shit on the ground. You know what I'm saying? I'm spreading the word, you know, and it's very stressful, it's painful, but, you know, I'm going through it, you know, because I'm need a kidney, so please spread the word. It's very important. Okay. It's really trying to get this going. It's so steep, so I appreciate you supporting me and everything. No problem, bro. I got you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you, too. Bro. Let me see. You, too. Ask me questions. Go on. Like, I wanted to know, like, when he gets his kidney, uh -huh. like, how long does it last? Hopefully as long as the first one lasted. And I also want to know, when it comes to insurance, how, like, how does that come into play with Meeting. his kidney? So he like, needs to have coverage. Um, and then with the kidney, Medicare kicks in for three years. Uh, he'd have a secondary if he wants. Yeah. Um, but he needs to have coverage for transplant. So people who have underlying kidney disease means that their kidneys are not working um, and it's not removing the toxins um, that our body's producing and or the excess salt and water. Um, and their lifeline really becomes dialysis. That's keeping them alive. But um, we know that their quality of life is not as good. And we also know that their longevity of life um, is not as good as if they had a working kidney or a transplant. Um, so because of this, transplant is a treatment for um, end-stage kidney disease. It's not a cure. Um, it in itself has side effects of the medications, but um, in terms of quality of life and longevity of life, it is the better option. Um, should the potential recipient be healthy enough to undergo the surgery and um, uh, you know, uh, take the medications and can withstand the side effects of the medications. Um, but Alan has had a prior transplant. We know he, he can tolerate the medicines. Um, and we just got to make sure that he remains healthy enough to get um, the transplant. Um, in terms of somebody donating kidney, um, that is whenever we have the opportunity to get a living donor for the, uh, our patients, that's always the better option um, because there's less wait time. 
Um, and we know that if you get people transplanted quicker, the outcomes are better. Um, and not only that, the living donor kidneys last longer um, than the deceased donor kidneys, if um, all things being equal. Um, in terms of donation, um, if you're approved to be a donor, then really um, there is not much increased risk to the potential donor because we have such a vigorous screening process in terms of making sure that you don't have any underlying medical conditions that would put you at increased risk of um, developing kidney disease um, in the future. Um, you can still, if it's a female donor, you can still carry a pregnancy if that's something that's really important to you. Um, I will say though, there is a small um, chance of blood pressure or developing protein in the long term, and that's why we follow you very closely after transplant, but we have a very vigorous process in selecting donors, and really our MO is to protect the donor at all cost. Um, and if we get it wrong, um, then there's protections in place for the donor um, in which that they will go to the top of the waiting list um, to get a transplant um, should they develop underlying kidney disease or dialysis. Um, so it's safe to donate for um, certain people um, and um, those who step forward, um, you know, it's fantastic that they do so because not only are they helping the person um, that they're donating to, but they're also taking one extra person off the wait list. So they're making it easier for other people on the wait list who don't have donors to get transplanted. So it really truly is a, a gift of life um, not for more than one person. So do continue, obviously, even if you have six years of wait time, um, the better option is still the living donor transplant, okay? Right. Uh, because one, it gets rid of the wait time, like I said, but they're expected to last longer, they're expected to work right away. Right. And the quicker we can get you off of dialysis, that's where the right. advantage is. The longer you're on dialysis, the um, outcomes are the not... Faster. Uh, well, the faster it will come. Well, the faster it will come, but outcomes are better. Okay. The outcomes for you, the outcomes for the, the, the transplant. Right, so what do you mean by the outcome? How long it lasts. Okay. How long and how well you do after transplant. Okay. You know, okay. Uh, when they say get a call, because I remember last time I was here, the lady was saying that uh, <laughs> four people could get a call all at once and, you know, who could be on the top or the bottom. There's a primary who is the intended recipient for deceased donor call, but then we'll have a backup um, person in case that person um, can't get the transplant for one or a reason. So you might get backup calls, you might get a primary call, okay? Right. So you just have to be ready um, with your with your go bag, um, you know. What time, what, what time did y'all actually call, or it doesn't matter? Any, any, time, any time of day, okay? okay? Because last time, when I was when I a kid, he was at school. I was at school, mm -hmm. and they called in the afternoon after lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why. So it's not like you get the call, you have to be here right away. There's lead time, right? But you have to head towards the hospital. Um, right. And oftentimes you get here before the, the organ gets there, okay? Oh, I but thought the organ was already there. It depends on where it's coming from, right? But they won't tell you, or they can't tell you because of HIPAA? Well, they won't tell you the they details. They won't tell you. But, but sometimes, sometimes the organs are imported, right? Imported from other parts of the country. Right, but I'm just saying, like, you can't, like, I, I they're not going to tell you. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay, I'm telling you. Okay. You know, just great, like, I can't. Okay. No, just shut up. So, right now, you have about six years' time. I would still look for donors as you're doing. Yes, that's what um, we're trying. We're pushing the campaign. And then, it's obviously, going. as you said yourself, you have a small torso. So, even if a kidney comes available, it has to be the right one for you in terms of size um, as well. It's right? It has to go by it. Does it like how, how big you ain't got much room to put how big kidney. is That's the, the kidney? So typically kidneys are around 10 to 12 centimeters in size. So about yay big. I don't have our model here, but they're about that big. Um, but again, the surgeon, whenever they get an offer for you, if you're at the top of the list, they're going to have to look at their offer, look at your pictures, and see if it's feasible. Like the feasibility of the surgery in your specific case is, is the concern. Or not the concern is the the hard part. Like so, what size is my stomach? That I don't know. Okay. I can't tell you, but it's it's a it's a shorter stomach from your from your rib uh, rib cage down to your pelvic bone. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have. So for you, I can't, I'm not going to speak for the surgeon, but I would think that they want a straightforward, less complicated organ offer, okay. right? Because for them, with your anatomy, with your um, prior urologic history and your prior transplant and your ostomy um it's going to be a more of a difficult case for them 
But again, when they met with you, they saw the pictures, they felt confident that they could do it. It's just, they gotta make sure that they pick the right organ um, to go into you when, when you start getting offers. Okay. So there's an alert in your chart saying, hey, when, when um, Alan gets a, a, an offer, look at his pictures and, and make sure that this organ is appropriate for you. Because okay. they don't want to be doing complex reconstructions, um, which increases the risk of complications thereafter. Okay. Right. okay. So the reason why I wanted to meet with you guys today is because I am one of your Instagram followers, and I saw that you were posting that you needed an O donor. I also used to work at the bedside when you used to come in patient, so I'm very familiar with your story and your needs and things like that, and I've seen all the lovely advertisement that people have done on your behalf. And I thank you. Yeah, of course, no problem. Um, it's I work with the living donor team here at Penn. Uh, we have the Penn Center for Living Donation, and one of, Cassandra, you can sit over here if you want. One of the, um, one of the biggest motivators for me in joining the team was making sure that our black people have access to living donation. And we know that living donor transplants last twice as long as deceased donor transplants. There's more control for timing and things like that. And you don't have to be extremely ill to get a transplant when you have a living donor, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I have some resources in here for you, but one of the biggest things I wanted to talk to you about is I've seen your um, advertisement and postings of, oh, I need an O blood donor, right? And you are an O blood type, and the kidney that you are transplanted with will be an O donor, right? Mm -hmm. But with the paired kidney exchange, we have the opportunity to have a donor not directly donate to you, but donate into a pool of kidneys, right? And when they donate, you get a voucher that says, okay, I have a living donor, they've donated on my behalf, and then the kidney that you get from the pool will be an O blood type donor. That's Confusing. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So, so basically, that mm -hmm. it's like a special. Y'all do something special to the kidney. No, so you will get a living donor transplant. You'll get a kidney. A person, like for instance, if Cassandra wanted to donate on your behalf, you and her are not blood type compatible. Right. So she's going to donate her kidney into a registry. Somebody else in that registry waiting for a kidney will get her kidney. But because she was your donor, like she came forward for you you get a voucher. So she donates your voucher, we turn it in, and we get you your O blood type donor. So it's like... It's a swap. It's swap. like a switch. Yeah, mm -hmm. I heard about the swap. Yeah. People was telling me about the swap, but I was mm -hmm. like, yes, but I wasn't sure about that because right. it's like, you know, so basically, it's that, it's that kidney doesn't belong to me because it's somebody else, so how does that go back to me? So you get a voucher. You get, you a, get voucher. a voucher. So if you have a, a, a donor and they're not compatible with you and they go into the registry, they will get paired with someone that they are compatible with. Oh, so they'll okay? find it so fast. Yep, exactly. So they'll find someone that they're compatible with, and as a return for that, they get a, a voucher, and you'll have that voucher. So, so that voucher is for you. Right. And mm -hmm. when we have the voucher for you, we will cash that in and say, hey, he had a voucher, and we'll put you in the registry, and we'll start mm -hmm. looking for a donor for you. Right. And yes, you I heard about that. Right. Somebody mm -hmm. sent me that before. Yeah, I did. Oh, and so, yes, yeah, it was me. Yeah, yeah, we were, remember, we were going we'll back, back and forth. But one of the biggest reasons why I bring this up is because I, you are truly limiting your options for anybody coming forward if you advertise that you only oh, need an O oh, positive donor. So I think that on all your advertisements, you just need to advertise you need a kidney donor. Because with the swap, we can get you the O kidney. So take off the O. Mm -hmm. Yes. So just say, just say, just say, I need a kidney, kidney donor. donor. Yep. A kidney mm -hmm. donor. Right, so, so people, well, people said, I had a lot of people say they O positive. Mm -hmm. yes, and there do. might be, but you know, for you, there's the other additional factor of your sensitization. Mm -hmm. So you have like a 99.99% .99%, um, sensitization. And it means that only that 0.01% of the population you'll match with. It's not impossible. With the paired kidney exchange, we have had 238, 99.99% or higher transplants for these people who are in the same situation as you. But they had donors that donated on their behalf, gave them a voucher, and then once the donor donates, we can activate you in the registry. How long does that take? 
It depends. It depends. With, you know, it's a one in 5,000 chance, but it is not impossible. On August 15th, um, the National Kidney Registry had three transplants occurring for 99.99% sensitized recipients and one of those recipients had only been waiting for 26 days oh. so, so so if i say mm -hmm. that so that match so basically let's say you turned over to me it, it, it not a match but you go to somebody else mm -hmm. and you say okay i'm gonna still find you regardless yep so exactly the, okay so it's okay so it's like a mm -hmm. give and take exactly but i think that with your large social media following you are going to get a living donor i am I keep saying that. i'm sure but i think you are limiting yourself when you keep saying i need an o donor because you don't have... need an o donor you need a donor because well, this is my blood mm -hmm. type is so positive exactly so, but so, i want you to not even worry about right, that we're right. going to get you the blood type that you need we just need a donor who can donate on your behalf okay okay just say a kidney donor don't mm -hmm. okay. positive anymore. Okay. got you I got, that's what that doctor said, yeah. so that's what mm -hmm. they was telling me, so I'm going to go Yeah, 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 no problem. Oh, you know who that is? Yeah, I don't know who this is. This is A Town. A Town, cast the producer. I didn't Hi. remember it before. A long time ago. You are a star with your This is your first time here? Yes. Yeah. Real quick, we got like three rooms here. A small room, big room. And then we got, I don't know if you want to see the room. You rob, you be robbing this though? Yes, we're just getting back into it. Yeah, they were. This is one of the small rooms we got. Film me, and then we got another room. Very over good, there. very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's me, right? Wow, that's crazy, all right? We got to see you split some balls. There's the other joint right here, and then we got the big room with all the like celebrities and all the, you know, they got. This is where the famous people come like. What's up, man? What's up? How are you, Laura? Everything good? Hi. How you doing, Good to meet you, man. I'm a fan of what you do, man. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Celeste? How are you doing, man? What's up, A-Town? Hey, what's up, A-Town? How are you doing? That's what's up. I didn't even bring my camera out. I didn't even even bring my camera out. I didn't even bring my camera out. You said TV? Yeah, I do. I do. I have my own local channel. And I bring, I highlight the positive things that's going yes, on. Yes, because I know I need a kidney. You know, making yeah. awareness needs. Uh, my husband you know, started this campaign, so we do a kidney. Oh, you know, I need a kidney. I'm on dialysis. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so, three times a week, so, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 30 a.m. to 9 30. It's very grand. I need a kidney. I need one of the You know, because it's donate, you know, everything that's going through my body. You say that over, right? Yeah. yeah. So, what about Chris? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm making more burgers. I play it too. It sounds like it's dope though. Yeah. I don't care. I, 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 I think it's dope. Yeah, but I think you can still sing to it. I don't think it's dope. So, Father God in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for this beautiful opportunity to come and share with you. Thank 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 you. Thank
and I ask that you bless a town, Father God. Yes. That your blood will go through his bloodstream, oh Father God, the blood on the cross, oh Father yes. God. That you died for and that you rose and he believes this. That's why he's saying yes, Lord. And Father God, you gave me the gift of prayer. Father God, first and foremost, forgive me for my sins, knowing and unknown, Father God. First of all, both of us. We come to you as living vessels that we do media and we out there. We just want to glorify you right now and the miracle that you're going to do in A-Town's life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, we thank you and we give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're going to continue this prayer on, Father God, that you will bring the finances. Father God, that you will bring the miracle, that the platform, that will, will bring as much finances that he need. But oh, Father God, oh, you just do it and be miraculous in his life yes. with the healing. Yes. Healing or millions, Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, you come in here, you get a blessing and everything. Yeah. See how it works? Yeah. 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 I tell them birds, cause need you. That's what they gon' say. A tell up in the spot. Wah, wah, wah. Birds could need she walk. That's what they gon' say. A town up in the spot. Wah 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 A town said Kanee she walk. Sexy you know I'm up on the top. Catching me now haters cause you know I won't stop. Hating on me hard cause you know I'm top not. Uh, wanna see me dead cause you know I won't stop. God always got that bag, got that guap, got that guap. Everybody knows that I keep with a bean. I got a guy on my side, feeling like Johnny, my, my, my. Uh, check out my wrist. Look at the time. Oh, being so fun. Wow. 